Healthy. Let's let him go. Go on, boy. Yeah. Did y'all see that, folks? Whoa! Good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. I get a lot of email and a lot of questions about what I've done during my life to raise my family. Well, I'm going to bring you today for a few minutes. Uh, share with us what I do for a living. And I want y'all to meet a couple people out here before we get to work. It's been hot this whole week. The heat index has probably been around 102 to 104 degrees. Right now, there's a little bit overcast, but it's not been being this nice. I want to introduce you to a couple carpenters. And by the way, I want to give a shout out to any craftsman all carpenters, electricians, plumbers, anybody in the building trade, because that is what makes America work. Here's the first thing. Now, I've been working with this man on and off for years. Would you introduce yourself, young man? My name is John Michael Hale. John Michael Hale. Yes, sir. A carpenter. Now, I'm talking and about. 52-year-old. 52 year old. Half 104. That's a, <laughs> that's a good way to put it. <laughs> now, this is Steve Wilson. And Steve, would, would you please show them that hammer that you've used and tell them how long you've used it? I've used that hammer since 1976. 1970, is that a 20 ounce? 20 ounce Stanley hammer. Well, will it you weigh? 20 ounces now after all those years. I doubt it because the label is where it was written on the hammers wore off. <laughs> and you're not going to retire until that hammer retires, right? I hope not. It, it's hot weather though. It's going to make it earlier. It's been hot. Is that Joe McDaniel right there? Yeah, that's him. That's the Mike Daniel. Now, I don't know if he wants to be filmed or not, but I... I Richard, show him this little... Little small house we built here. This right here is what we're doing right here, folks. This is a, a, a guest house or a poo house. Yeah. And it's how many square feet? Almost 2,200 square foot. 2,200 square feet. And it's built on a slab right here, folks. And I'm right here at the tail end of the job. What I've been doing is helping put these rafters up. These are two by eight rafters, and this is on a 12-12 pitch right here. And uh, this is going to be cathedral right here all the way. And this is a house right here that we built about, has it been four or six about years six, ago? Six years ago. Six years ago. About 10,000 square foot. 10,000 square feet. Been a long time. But I'm going to show you what I've done for a living and uh, folks that I've been working around out in this good old heat. Gotta love it. Let me get him. Yeah. Bless, it's hard. Oh. It's so hot. Yeah. We can do it though. Yeah. Now, hey, whoa. Whoa, we. We got to get us a walk board set right here on this side. Folks. So we can, uh, we got one here, so we nail them, that side of the rafters. Now we're going to set one up here. So we nail this side of the rafters. You have to run them with each other. A few on this side, a few on this side. That's to keep the ridge up there straight. Let's see your arm there. Let's see that muscle you got. Make some, uh, whoa, whoa. All right, here we go. We're going to climb up on the top and help Joe. I'm going to walk that beam. I, I got to get up, though. Let me go up this brace right here. But yeah, I'm going to walk that beam and pull them, them rafters up. This is the life of a carpenter. That's why I want to give a shout out to all carpenters, electricians, I'm going to say it again, plumbers, 
masons, all the trades, all the building trades, okay. You ready, Mr. Joe McDaniel? <laughs> and here we go. He called me on the telephone. Here we go. That's a long rafter. If uh, I tell you, spruce would be a lot easier, yeah. but these are a lot, lot stronger. And me and Joe, we're gonna swap. When we get tired, we'll swap out. That way, we make it through the day. Let's pull up another. God. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's the last. Uh -huh. I'm wooed out, but that's what it takes to get them up. Look at there. They. And that's what we're doing, folks. Good old American hard work. Whoa. Well, Jackie, is it going to be hot today? <laughs> but but now we're tough enough to do it, ain't we? That's right. To endeavor is to persevere. <laughs> oh me, folks! I got the okay to catch us some big copper nose bluegill. And right here is where you got to be careful. And those of y'all who does this kind of work, walking these floor joists, if you slip, you talking about tearing your shin up. Now you'll tear it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, Jeff, that's some big old German shepherds, young man. Do you think yeah. we're going to be all right in here? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> well trained. Let's look how big that folks are huge. And I guess they're gonna go fishing with us. What we're doing right here, this is a stocked pond. And a lot of people says this is unfair. But being that we're doing some framing right here, Jeff, I just want to show folks how big these copper nose bluegill are. That's the point of the video. Um, it is a fishing video designed for fishermen that's what we do <clears throat> we're tired and give out but we're not too tired to go down here and show y'all some biggins let's do it Woo! we made it here the dogs ain't gonna bite us and what i have right here is the rev rose 1000 1000 size reel loaded with two pound test vicious high vis vicious and i have a loop knot and that's a one 28th of an ounce jig, folks. It's a hand-tied jig made by the Brim Professor. All right, let's get started right here. And by the way, this is a Gander Mountain. No, this is a Canyon Creek rod, excuse me. Super ultra light. It's seven feet long. Matter of fact, it's the one I used at Jimmy Houston's lake, and we caught some big crappie with it. The reason I'm using this brown jig is because this fish food is brown. The pellets are. Let me get one and show you. That's about the same color. I matched it just as close as I could right here. Alright. There we go. Now that feels like a pretty good one right there, folks. My, my. That fish is fat. Okay. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're stepping up into a little bit better quality. That fish is about... Well, that's thick. Yeah, that thick, ain't it, Jeff? Yep. I'd give anything if I could see you catch one. Yeah, go ahead. You're doing good. <laughs> he don't want to. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I call cheating. Now, I fish in public waters. There's another fish. Wow. That may be even bigger, I don't know. When you fish public waters, you have to fish hard. Y'all know how it is, folks, but not today. Look at there, look at there, look at there. That's a male fish. And that's why they call them copper nose. See that pattern right here on the crown of his head? 
Let's let that go, see if we can catch our big one on it. Woo! Dog gone. Woo! I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> Watch this right here. There he is. Now that's a good one. They, woo. Folks, I'd give anything in the world for y'all to be here with me. Now I want you to look right here what a fish. They, <laughs> that's a good one, ain't it? <laughs> that's some good eating we're throwing back right here. I guarantee you. To me, bluegill and shell cracker are the best eating. Better than crappie. Oh, that fish hit it. See, I just put it right back in there on him. There he is. Mm. I know a lot of y'all are saying, golly, that old boy is cheating. And I feel like I am because this ain't really the real world of fishing. Not this day and time. But it's a lot of fun. If y'all was me, would you throw back in there again? See if we can catch one just a little bit bigger. There he is. The instant they hit it, I have to set the hook. Or you'll miss them. This is a good one. Ain't bad at all. These fish is healthy. I mean, they're healthy. Let's let him go. Go on, boy. Did y'all see that, folks? <laughs> now, if I wasn't fast, I want y'all young boys to know this right here. Most of y'all bo young boys 18, 19, you couldn't have done that. That takes exceptional speed when you need it. Don't think a 54 year old ain't got it. <laughs> Let's let him go. <laughs> There's one right there, folks. Oh, that's a big son of a gun. Looky here, looky here, looky here. Mm -hmm. I need a dilt net really right here. We're gonna try to, now when you flip a fish in a situation like this, a two pound line, the flex in this rod, I'll show you the proper way. When he lets off like that, then just flip him. Now, if you don't do it like that, you'll pop off every time. Now that is a fish. That's the kind I wanted to show y'all. Jeff, how long is that fish probably? About eight inches. About eight inches. Now we were told there's some in here 11 inches. That's a big difference. Bluegill love, there's one color that I know for a fact, or two colors that bluegill and shellcracker like, is gold and brown. And that's what I have right here. So let's try that a few times. Go on back, boy. All right, try that again, boy. There you go. I got you, didn't I? Whew. Like a good this is a good one here. He don't want to move at all, Jeff. That's one of them good ones. We'll let him get tired. And then when he relaxes, we're gonna flip him like that. There he is, folks. That's, that's a nice one. Well, folks, bad as I hate it, I think I'm gonna go home and eat some beans and taters because I've enjoyed it out here, I guarantee you. Fishing and friends, that's what it's about. Let's let him go. Woo! It was a hot day. 
Mr. Jeff Butchelman. So, uh, folks, I want y'all to be the best friend I've ever had. We've been through a lot. He's a type of individual that's helped the community out in a lot of different ways, a lot of different people, and one of the best men I've ever known, Jeff Butchelman. And I want y'all to meet him and the plans that he has for Geraldine Hardware. Geraldine, Alabama. Hello, folks. I'm Mr. Jeff Busher here. Richard Hams, one of the greatest guys that I've been around for years. Super great guy. He's highly has a lot of highly respect. And he's a hardworking individual with integrity and a lot of moral courage. He tries to do the right thing. I'm associated with Geraldine Hardware from Building Supply in Geraldine, Alabama. We're in the early stages of uh, add, making an addition, you know, before we can uh, add more stuff to accommodate the public with more diversified selection and make it like a relaxed shopping environment. And we're going to add guns and ammo, fishing tackle and supplies as handpicked by Richard Jean, the fishing machine. And uh, when we get our new uh, building addition add on, we're going to have a, a meet and greet for Mr. Richard Jean, one of the, I think, one of the greatest fishermen in the world. And uh, we're going to have, uh, if the timing works out right, we're going to have Mr. Jimmy Houston there. He's a good friend of Mr. Richard Jean's. Richard went and spent about a week with him at his place in Oklahoma. And uh, this, we're going to have food and uh, this, this is a good fellowship with everybody from the community, anywhere you want to come from. And uh, we also sell bad boy lawnmowers and sell grasshopper lawnmowers and we work on them, service them, and, uh, and I just thank everybody for the support. Hope y'all can come out when we have this thing. See you later. Well folks, that's a little bit about how we do out here in the country. A little work, a little fishing, we mix it up. We don't worry about the issues. Um, we're not going to live that way. And I want to thank you very much, Jeff, for bringing me out here. Hey, thank y'all very much for the great comments, everything y'all do for this channel. And, whoa, yeah. Y'all, hey, man. Easy, Rick. No, I can't. Easy. It's a trilogy. Easy. Woo! And remember, go fishing when you can. Because it's good for you!